New York City students are due back in class on Thursday, and there's good news and bad news about a potential bus strike affecting 80,000 students. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is live in Long Island City, Queens, with the very latest. Marsha, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mary. Well, the good news is that a bus strike has been averted this week for the first two days of school. That's Thursday and Friday. But the bad news is that negotiations are continuing, and there's no indication that a deal is near. Nobody wants to see a strike. We know that there will not be a strike for the first two days of school. That much we are assured of. Yeah. Um, but after that, we're well, fingers crossed. Uh, but everyone's still at the table trying to get a deal done. Schools Chancellor David Banks says negotiators will be working like crazy to avoid a school bus strike that could affect 4,400 bus routes across all five boroughs. 80,000 students could be impacted, including 25,000 special ed students. The city has an emergency plan that includes offering metro cards to all impacted families. The cards are valid on all buses except express buses and will allow four trips and transfers daily. Reimbursement for alternative transportation, including taxis and personal vehicles. There will also be rideshare services for special ed students and others who need to be accompanied by a parent or guardian. It includes round trip transportation to the parent's workplace. MTA officials say they are prepared. We have been co coordinating closely with the DOE on um, on some tactical uh, operational issues so that we're ready to supplement in the event that there is a strike and there's some specific needs that need to be addressed. We're working with the Department of Education very tactically and granularly. Are there particular schools that we might want to have an extra bus? We call them Wildcats, which are not scheduled buses if we see crowding. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. But, uh, you know, that's our goal is for any students that uh, come onto our system that we're prepared to get them to and from school. Now, officials say that special ed students have been pre-cleared for rideshare services, and the MTA has already given the Department of Education 1.7 million Metro cards just in case. Reporting live from Long Island City, Queens, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marcia, thank you.